A pleasant morning to each and everyone. My topic for today is about paraphrasing sentences and lines in text and to poems. So for today's topic, you will know how to paraphrase a sentences in a text and a lines to poems. But first, let us define what is paraphrasing. So paraphrasing means formulating someone else's ideas in your own words. And paraphrasing is an alternative to quoting. However, there is a variation in quoting and paraphrasing. In quoting, you are definitely copying the works of others while paraphrasing is formulating a new words. Next are the ineffective paraphrasing strategies. When paraphrasing, there are a few common mistakes you should learn to avoid. Number one, avoid switching out or changing around of a few words in an author sentences for use in your paper. Of course, you should avoid switching the words or changing of words around in an original text. So number two, avoid failing to acknowledge through an in-text citation or direct quotes the outside source from which you obtain your information or ideas. Of course, you have to cite or you have to include in your paper the in-text citation where did you get that paraphrase or that sentence. Exception, when paraphrasing, you do not have to directly cite common knowledge. Common knowledge is information that is widely known and can be found in multiple places. For example, you are confused with the definition of a certain words. You don't have to cite where did you get that information because the definition of a word is can be found in the multiple places. Number three, avoid acknowledging the author in an in-text citation but failing to include quotation marks around any terms or phrasing that you have borrowed from the author. Of course, you should put, you must put or acknowledge the author of the text or of the original text and you have to quote it and put the in-text citation. Take note, any of the unsuccessful elements of paraphrasing are considered plagiarism in your essay, even if this paraphrasing missteps or in unintentional. Of course, you should be careful or you should avoid plagiarism in your text or in your when you are doing your assignments or in your essay, you should avoid plagiarism. You should put in-text citation in it when you are um, copying others' work. Now, let's move on on how to paraphrase a text. Number one, read the passage several times to fully understand the meaning. Of course, you should read the passage no matter how many times you read it as long as you fully understand the meaning of it. Next, after reading the passage several times and you fully understand the meaning of the context or, or the passage, you have to take down or note down key concepts. So you have to identify what's the message of the, of the passage or of the text. Number three, write your version of the text without looking at the original. So next, man is writing your own version of it. For example, you have read the passage or the text and what did, what have you understand from it? You should um, put it in the original text or in your own words. After writing your own version, you have to compare your own version to the original text and you have a chance to change it especially the certain words that you still copy in the original text. Number five most especially is to cite the text. Of course, you have to put the author, the date, when it is published or where it is published. You have to put it in the in-text citation of your paper. Let's look at the example. So in original passage, the number of foreign and domestic tourists in the Netherlands rose above 42 million in 2017, an increase of 9% and the sharpest growth rate since 2006. The National Statistics Office, CBS, reported on Wednesday, Dutch News NL 2018. So the paraphrased version of it, according to the National Statistics Office, the Netherlands experienced 
experienced dramatic growth in tourist numbers in 2017. More than 42 million tourists traveled to or within the Netherlands that year, representing a 9% increase, the steepest in 12 years. Dutch News NL 2018. As you've observed in the paraphrased version, some words are changed, right? Some words have changed, but it is the same in meaning or in a context. And of course, whether you, um, you change it or not, you have to put the citation on it. Now, you have to take note of these three things. First, the text is rewritten in your own words. As I said earlier, you have to make it your own. But the meaning of the text did not change. So you have to consider the meaning of it. Number three, the source is cited correctly according to APA in-text citation rules. Next is how to paraphrase a poem. So paraphrasing a poem is really different in paraphrasing a text, right? So in a poem, when you read a poem, of course, you have to, um, to find the, um, the message of it or the hidden, meaning, hidden meanings or talk about something completely different from what you thought. Thus, when you're paraphrasing a poem, you will have to make sure you capture the essence of it. Learning how to paraphrase a poem can help you with your writing skills and expand your vocabulary. Of course, paraphrasing a, for a poem is actually a little bit difficult than um, paraphrasing a text. If you develop the skill, you will benefit from excellent writing skills that can help you draft and write any piece of paper. A richer vocabulary that will help you express yourself more clearly and accurate. Of course, um, when you find words that is difficult to understand, you have to search for uh, synonyms of it and you have to understand the meaning of it. Next is good oral skills as you will have to read a poem out loud to understand it better. Lastly, you can develop your analytical skills thanks to the fact that you are analyzing or interpreting the poem. Of course, you will be able to express it in depth analysis of the poem. Now let's move on to the helpful guide to paraphrase a poem. So this time you will know how to paraphrase a poem. So take note of these tips. Number one, as a golden rule, make sure you have read the poem several times as this will help you understand the poem completely and locate the main topic. So the same as the par in paraphrasing a text, right? You have to read, to read, to read many times or several times the poem in order for you to fully understand and to find the message, the main message of it. After you have read it many times, you can break the poems to lines, line by line or by stanzas. It is up to you. So in paraphrasing a poem, it is up to you on how on how to divide it. For example, you can paraphrase it line by line or by stanzas. Next, depending on the poem, it may be easy to paraphrase it line by line, but this will depend on how it is written. So some other poems are, you, you can capture the message of it by stanzas, right? But there are also poems that can be translated or paraphrased par paraphrase it line by line number four locate what the main points are in the poem and try to rephrase them using plain language you will have to write them as if you were telling them to someone but make sure you keep the meaning of the poem you cannot change its message so of course um you have to locate or you have to Point out what is the message or what is the main theme of that poem. Number five, once you have finished paraphrasing the poem, you should proofread your text. Scan it quickly looking for punctuation, grammar, spelling, and stylistic mistakes. If you find one, fix it and keep reading it. Of course, in paraphrasing a poem there are tendencies that you commit mistakes right or you can or you are using the same words in the poem so you have a chance to proofread your work change it and make it your own but without 
changing the meaning of it. Number six, after you proofread your paper, read it again and see if it needs some editing or if it's ready for printing. And number seven, you can make these two last points by reading your paper out loud. It will help you identify any mistakes easier. I have here an example of a poem which has 29 lines. So let's try to paraphrase this poem. It is entitled Phenomenal Woman by Maya Angelou. Pretty women wonder where my secret lies. I'm not cute or built to suit a fashion model size. But when I start to tell them, they think I'm telling lies. I say it's in the reach of my arms, the span of my hips, the stride of my step, the curl of my lips. I am woman phenomenally, phenomenal woman, that's me. I walk into a room just as cool as you please, and to a man that fellow stand or fall down on their knees. Then they swarm around me, a hive of honey bees. I say, it's the fire in my eyes and the flash of my teeth, the swing in my waist and the joy in my feet. I'm a woman phenomenally, phenomenal woman, that's me. Now, let's see how it is paraphrased. In paraphrasing a poem, you have to imagine that you are the author of that poem and you are telling the message to someone. The beautiful women cannot figure out why I am attractive. I am not beautiful and I do not have the body of a model. However, when I explain them my secret, they think I am being dishonest and that I am not telling the truth. I tell them that my secret lies in what I can reach, the way I move, the way I walk, and how I move my lips. I am an extraordinary woman. That's who I am. When I walk into a room, as people want me to, some men stand up and while other, others praise me with admiration. They all gather around me as the bees do with honey. And I explain that my secret is the light in my eyes, my shiny teeth, and how I move my waist and how I walk. I am an extraordinary woman. That's who I am. As you observe, in paraphrase right it is paraphrase in line to line because the message or you can capture the message in the in the lines of the poems so the message of the poem is um being an extraordinary woman so that's it for today's topic i hope you um i hope you have learned something and you are now capable of paraphrasing a sentence in a text or a lines in a poem so thank you everyone and have a good day